Starlight Theater here in Kansas City says it's about to launch its best concert series in its history. And this week, the outdoor venue will kick off a summer-long Broadway series, including two original cast members of the producers as part of Starlight's 60th year anniversary celebration and another reason we're proud to call Kansas City home. Walk into Starlight Theater in Kansas City Swope Park and you'll get a little starstruck. Like Hollywood, there's a similar walk of fame. Tony Randall, Cab Calloway, Michelle Lee, and this year, a new one, Florence Henderson. The star was just placed in concrete this year. The walk of stars goes back to Starlight Theater's beginning, 60 years ago, 1950. That's when crews decided to build two brick castle towers. Those are part of the original uh, structure. And a stage under the stars for just one summer show called Thrills of the century to honor Kansas City Centennial. The outdoor venue was such a hit, private money has been supporting the nearly 8,000 seat Broadway and concert theater ever since. And its audiences have experienced several once in a lifetime moments, from Phyllis Diller as the Wicked Witch of the West. That was uh, apparently her castle door. She popped out of there and then flew off on her broomstep up to the uh, castle tower. What I'm about to say to last year's partly impromptu performance by Stevie Wonder. The concert occurred the day after Michael Jackson uh, passed away. So it was an historic night. Stevie obviously uh, honored the passing of his friend, and that kind of night will never happen again. Millions of dollars in renovations from fountains to its new stage house have put Starlight in the map in recent years as a regular stop for national Broadway tours. And the public really want current Broadway shows. How much has that changed Starlight for you? I think that changed uh, Starlight forever. People like Starlight employee Sarah have grown up watching from the audience and appreciating Kansas City's arts. I mean, it was Annie. It was just like it was for any other little girl. I just knew I had to be up there and be performing. So in 2004, she made her dream come true. She became the lead in Annie. The actress says Kansas City's appreciation for the arts brought her back home. Probably would have moved to New York City, but I knew people here and I'd grown up watching Starlight shows. There was something magical about being outdoors under the stars, watching uh, Broadway entertainment. No wonder Kansas City's been starstruck for 60 years. The Broadway series begins this week with a party on the prairie. For more information about that and all the shows that you're seeing there due this summer, log on to our website.